What's up guys, this is Will, Will H. Gadgets and more, back with another video. So taking a look at something a little different on my channel today, taking a look at some binoculars. So uh, the name of my channel is Will H. Gadgets and more. So this is one of those and more gadgets right here. Now this was sent out to me by a company called Apexel. So a big shout out to them for sending this over for a review. Now you can pick this up on Amazon.com. I'll drop the link in the description if you guys want to pick this up or go over and read up some more specs on this. Now these are going to be $99.99. So these are the these are a pair of binoculars and uh, some of the specs on them. These are 10 to 30 by 50 high-powered military zoom binoculars. Uh, these feature low light, night vision. These are waterproof. Uh, these features a BAK7 prism, also have a FMC lens, and these are professional binoculars. You can use these for things like boating, uh, bird watching, hunting, concerts, and things of that nature. You're gonna, uh, these are going to be great for stuff like that, sports as well. Uh, the magnification, like I said, uh, 10 by to 30 by. These feature easy zoom, easy focus, 235 feet or 1,000 yards. These feature high quality optics. You get your 50 millimeter objective there. You can see the difference, uh, the 50 millimeter versus the 42. You get 22 millimeter eyepiece and you can see the differences there between the 18 and the 20. You get the FMC versus the single coating so the FMC stands for full multi-layer coatings. And then you're going to get your BAK7 prism. You can see the difference between the 7 and the 9 there. And here are a few. This is how you set the uh, settings right here. Simple settings right there. Going to tell you everything you need to do to get these uh, set, which is very easy. Right there, you got step 1 and step 2. And uh, so... Those are a few of the features and details. Like I said, uh, we can go. You can go over and check it out. Read up some more about it. Here's the packaging. Very nice packaging here. Got this long number here for the model number. Hopefully you guys can see that. And you got your 10 to 30 by 50 zoom uh, Poro binoculars, professional. And then down here the same thing. You get the wide and bright 50 millimeters full uh, layer of coating lens. And this side, this is what you get on the side of the box. This side, you're going to get some more of the specs here. If you guys want, need to stop and read that, pause the video. And then the back of it is here. So let's go ahead and get into the box. Check these out. Now, I've never had a set of binoculars this big. I have several smaller ones that we've had over the years. And I'll show you those in a little bit. But here's the... Uh, brochure the manual that comes with it here uh, this is going to break it down and tell you everything you need to know about the binoculars you guys can see here your uh, objective lenses you got your focusing wheel this is where you can put your straps you got your zoom level lever uh, diopter focus uh, adjustment ring Ocular focus lens, uh, ocular lens, and uh, yeah, it just breaks it down to you there, guys, right there. And I may have to refer to these that manual, but we'll see. So you get this nice carrying bag here. Didn't show that. You're also going to get a strap as well, so you can put it on your shoulder. Now this is not padded or anything. It's just a uh, just a small, uh, just a regular carrying bag there. You gotta get a, this look like your strap to put it around your, your neck. Yep, this is the strap for the binoculars. Uh, it is adjustable. So you get that as well. You're gonna get a satisfaction guarantee card here. Right there. And of course we get the binoculars. Now these are waterproof. As well, these weigh uh, 1.76 pounds. So these have an O-ring in them uh, that prevents fog, 
moisture and dust from getting in. And you can also use these in the heavy rain as well. So uh, these are made out of uh, plastic and metal, Has have a, a, a rubber coating, I should say, not plastic. These have a rubber coating, and you can feel it. So these feel very nice in the hand. These are definitely big, man. Let me get a... Here's uh, what I'm used to using right here. <laughs> these little baby size here. And here's another pair that I had over the years. And in comparison to uh, the big boys here, uh, this is going to be a wide, a big change here. So uh, let me get the bag out of the way so we can see the product here. Let's go around them so you get your lens cover caps here. And you just pull these off like that. That helps to protect them when you... Uh, keeping them and not using them. That's what the lenses look like there. And then, like I said, you get this nice rubber coating. There's some grips right here. You're going to have your numbers here. These numbers are when you zoom, your zoom lever here. When you move that up and down, there's a little notch right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it tells you uh, the distance that you're at right there. You got your two places here for your strap so you can connect. You got your focusing wheel right here, and just a nice feeling set of uh, binoculars here. And then you got your lens covers for your eyepieces here as well. There are the eyepieces. Now you can adjust this to, for the distance in between your eyes. Very easy. Uh, it's kind of stiff feeling too. Get some uh, numbers here telling you the uh, specs on it there. And also on the front of it here, you got a cap right here. Now this cap, if you remove this cap, um, you can hook up, hook this up to a tripod or some kind of stand right there. Just thread it inside of there if you need to do that. And that is it, man. Uh, this eyepiece here doesn't move. This one moves for focusing. So the way you focus this, they recommend you put a cap. You start with your left eye, you put a cap on the right one. You adjust this wheel right here until you see you're seeing good. And then you, you do the other one, you take this and you focus this until those two objects become one. And then you're set, you're ready to go. So these are very nice. I'm gonna take them out, try them out, uh, let you, and then I'll come back and let you guys know what I think about them. Uh, so I'll be back. guys so I am back in as you guys see I was uh, able to take these out by the uh, lake area and also by the river area where they have a picnic area and just looking at birds and stuff out there zooming in on different things out there uh, these were very nice man very easy to zoom and see different objects out there at one point uh, by the lake area I was able to uh, zoom all the way across and see a truck over there and there was one guy out there with his boat this was early in the morning and he was testing it or whatever he was doing with it i could i could easily zoom in on him and uh see things very very easily man these uh, uh present a very clear image when you're looking through them and they're very lightweight i wanted to, i took my glasses off and i was able to use these with all my glasses and see things very very good 
and uh, they fit. Uh, if you press your eyes all the way up against these, these, these are very comfortable right here. This is rubber, very soft rubber right here. And just very clear, man. I added the, the neck strap, which is comfortable letting it hang around your neck. And after I turned off trying to get the footage for y'all, I really had a chance to use them. And these are nice. I like how they adjust to your uh, different uh, spaces in between your eyes. Everybody's different there. Uh, rubber rubber coating makes them really good to hold in the hand. And uh, I had a lot of fun with these. I look to have some more fun in the future coming with these as well. So these are the Apexel 10 to 30 by 50 Zoom Peril Binoculars. I dropped a link in the description if you guys want to pick them up. I am Will H. This is Will H. Gadgets and more. I'm out. <laughs>